After a thrilling climax to our first ever two-day event last week at the Belfry, this week the Clutch Pro Tours Challenge Series has rolled on to the Oxfordshire. The Reese jones design here at the Oxfordshire has played host to multiple European tour events and it's easy to see why. Boasting over 100 bunkers and with four lakes in play, it makes for a fantastic tournament course. A sensational 63 from amateur Harvey Byers saw him take a surprise lead on day one, but with a third of the field under par, there was a huge chasing pack aiming to hunt him down. Harvey had a round yesterday, 63. Talk us through some of that round. Started off great, birdied the first four, put my foot down from there really. Yeah, set up some good birdie opportunities. So. How, how great is it to be playing for such great incentives on the Clutch Pro Tour? Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, there's not many tours that really give you great opportunities like this and to have the opportunity to play for Challenge Tour starts. And yeah, it's great and I'm, I'm sure everyone in the field really cherishes the opportunity, so. Um, yeah, our season, the LET season, doesn't start until middle of May. Um, and I just, uh, yeah, saw a couple of events here um, and thought that, I mean, with the challenge swing, there's going to be a lot of good players signing up. So I actually set an alarm for it <laughs> to, to make sure I'm in the field. And yeah, just really enjoy playing with the guys. So they're super nice and yeah, it's, it's good competition. It's just about sticking to my game plan, not really worrying about what anyone else is doing really. Um, getting myself in position going into the back line for sure because there's obviously some birdie chances coming in but um, the main thing is staying patient and trying to keep the thing on the fairway. So. I think because it's, you know, it's, it's kind of open, right now the rough's not up, um, it will come down, I mean especially with the wind today it's going to come down to I think short game. Um, a lot of people are going to hit fairways and you can hit some greens but it's hitting in the right spots and taking your chances when you get them. You know, there'll be some holes out there that are tough today so. After their incredibly fast starts on day one, you could have been forgiven for thinking that amateurs Harvey Byers and Ollie Huggins could fade on day two, but as the days progress, it's become abundantly clear that they are more than up for the challenge. Despite staying in the hunt brilliantly all day, amateurs Harvey Byers and Ollie Huggins have just agonisingly missed out on a place in a three-way playoff which will start on the 10th hole and be contested by Gary Boyd, OJ Farrell and Harry Goddard. It's hard to believe the drama we've just witnessed over on the 10th hole, the first playoff hole, where Harry Goddard, Gary Boyd and OJ Farrell all hold incredible birdie parts to take the contest onto the second playoff hole, the 18th hole. After an incredibly tough day, it's ultimately proved to be heartbreak for Gary Boyd and Harry Goddard as they narrowly missed out on the victory, but joy for OJ Farrell as he's taken his second Clutch Pro Tour title. Incredibly dramatic scenes we've just seen in the playoff there. First of all, congratulations Thank on an you. incredible victory. What does it mean to you to get across the line today and, and land that one? Oh, winning means everything to me. You know, that's why I play and to be in those situations and be in the playoffs so fun. There've been quite a few of them now, but you know, it's. Uh, you, know, you don't get too much head-to-head -head golf, so being able to do that and really get some competitive juices going to get the win feels amazing. So I hit my shot in, I was trying to get it to spin off the ridge and it just went past it a little too low. Um, I was walking up, I was like, I said, well, I'm putting first. I said, knock it in, put the pressure on, and I hit the perfect putt. I mean, as soon as I hit it, I think I knew it was going in. Um, and then Harry and Gary both made great putts as well coming back. I mean, I just try and treat every putt the same, and I was just like, you know, this is just another putt. 
and just hit the line. I felt, you know, look at me act and I did that and it went straight in the centre of the cup. So you've won leg two of the Challenge Series, which sets you up really well in the order of merit across the three yeah. events. How much of an incentive is it to, to play for those Challenge Tour starts next week, going to Enville next week? Oh, it's huge. You know, I mean, to get three Challenge Tour starts, if you win them in the order of merit, it's, it's massive. Um, you only need one chance, you know, you need one start and you, know, you win that and then you're on the full tour, you're on the main Challenge Tour for the season, then you do well there, you get on the European Tour. So, you know, it, it can take you big places.